Hey, it's JC here, JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore, 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 436-174-19531-6097. JC's Comics and More at Hotmail.com, and you can find the Facebook link in the description below. We've got two more comics, or two more boxes to do, so probably should get, get cracking on these two. See exactly what's what's in here. I had some guy call up earlier trying to tell me that Superman wedding issues going for ten thousand dollars online. I took everything I, I had not to tell him that he's full of shite. Uh, but he told, I told me he's crazy. They're not going for that. And if they are, oh Christ. That Amazing Spider-Man I picked up two weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, should be $250,000 then. Here's a Ron Lim connecting cover for the Infinite Destiny's Black Cat Annual 1. Make sure I know I've got somebody that wants a copy of that. That's set aside for them. As with the cover B of... Department of Truth, number 10. I've got a big package going out to a good customer this week. He's been very patient waiting on his comics. Here is the A cover to the United States of Captain America, covered by the great Alex Ross. Uh, that book is worth, worth the price just for the Alex Ross cover. Here, Chain to the Grave, number four, from, I, from IDW. Two Moons, number five, the B cover on Two Moons, number five. The comic's been setting out in my car for a while, and boy, oh boy, are they smoking hot. Spectre Inspectors, number five. Here we have Dr. Aflac. War of the Bounty Hunters, number 11. Oh, excuse me, Dr. Afra. Don't want to disrespect Dr. Aflac. There's more of those Dr. Aflacs. Let's see what's in this here. I do see another couple copies of not only the Dr. Afra, but the Two Moons, number 5, B cover. We have Undone by Blood. Issue number four. I think this is a one in 25 variant cover on the Black Cat Infinite uh, Destiny's Annual. The Rob Liefeld cover A for the Mighty Crusaders The Shield. Get yourself some Rob action. This is a really cool cover. I bought several of these because this is just too damn cool. Barbaric number one. Cover C, take off on the Barry Windsor Smith of the Barry Smith. Conan the Barbarian from Marvel Comics. To the death! The coming of Owen. And then also Brian Polito's um, a Coffin Comics did a really cool Lady Death cover of that too. Here we have a Peach Momoka Shang Chai number two cover. Here we have some of the some of the variants. For Spawn 319, it's got got uh, Cyber Ape on it, or McFarlane Ape, or whatever you want to call him, on that cover there. Red Room, Red Room, Red Room, number two. You got that right there. This book has been uh, much better. I was critical of that book when it came out. I apologize. I was overly critical. Cover D on Barbaric, number one. Here's another one of those, the issue 12, second printing of the Walking Dead Deluxe. So I think 7 through 12 is what they're doing this time. Got the David Finch covers. Transformers Beast Wars, number 5, cover A. Spider Marvel Action Spider-Man 3 with Mysterio. We've got a cover set aside for You Know Who. Speaking of You Know Who, You Know Who is getting the girls of Dimension 13, number 3. You Know Come on, you know. Don't have to go into a carnage fight for it. Star Wars, The High Republic, number six. Right there. 
Okay, let's see what's on the other side here. More red rooms, red rooms. More red room number twos. And three will be out in three weeks. I'm placing my orders on three right now. Those other variants were one and five variants. Here's the Oz Annual, cover B, Patchwork Girl. Here's a previews, my retailer previews copy. Here is issue 11 of The Walking Dead Deluxe, the David Finch cover. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Tea Time number one. Vampirilla, cover D on 21. That Texas Blood. These will have to be the B covers on issue number seven. These, I believe, are the uh, the one and fives, or some. This is some design variant. This might not even be. This might be just regular cover price. Design variants for Aaron Fisher for the United States of Captain America number one. Because Captain America waves a mighty garbage can. He looks like he's on a. Looks like he's a. Uh, you know, on a. Uh, an engineer for a train. Woo woo! Gonna pull a train. Yeah, these obviously were not any any tiered variants because I got a crap load more of them in. Here we have this might be the one in ten variant. Or maybe this is the one in 25 variant. Red Room. Take off on Love and Rockets by the Hernandez Brothers. And I'm not seeing my Marvel previews here, so there must be my other box. Cover B on the Mighty Crusaders Presents the Shield. And this must be a cover B on the Parasomnia, number one from Dark Horse. This must be cover B's as well. Vampirilla, number 21. Almost very Frank Frazetta-ish. Monstrous, number 35 from Image. We've got Cable. I think this has one more issue after this to go. Cable, number 11. This is a 1 in 10 variant on crossover number 6, 7, number 7, crossover number 7. All right. Daredevil. Daredevil number 31. Guess Daredevil's gone to the Angels again, again, again. Here we have Tara, Witch of the Black Rose, issue 128. We've got that cover and this cover by the ever-talented Jim Ballant. The book just went up recently. It was $2.95 for a long freaking time. And Jim probably uh, did not make that decision to raise it to $3.99 lately. Here we have cover A of the Oz Annual Patchwork Girl. Black Knight, Curse of the Ebony Blade number four. It's been a while since we've seen a copy of this, but it is finally out. Finally out and can be in your hot little hands tomorrow. Speaking of a book we've not seen in a while, Vampire the Masquerade from Vault. This is number nine. It's been quite a few months since we've seen a copy. This is Dune, cover A on issue eight. Here is the cover C on that Oz annual Patchwork Girl. Yes, there will be a copy that will go out on the stand. So if you show up early in the morning, you won't leave all mad at me. People get mad at me because they, because uh, I, I, I order sometimes some of these books very lightly or order to sell out. But I can reorder it. Just let me know. I can reorder it. If I can reorder it, I will gladly reorder it for you. Here's spawn number 319. This is the McFarlane, probably B cover. Yes, there it is, the Todd B cover. Issue two from Dark Horse, Far, Far Cry, Rite of Passage. 
This is a A cover on that. I don't know if there's a B cover on that though. Here's Star Wars Adventures issue 5. This is an A cover. So we do have issue number 10 of The Walking Dead Deluxe. Second printing cover with David Finch. Let me put, put this with the other ones. Man, I really like that barbaric Barry Smith cover. Can 2 in the City of Giants number 3. This here is something that I've ordering, only ordered for the two people that requested it. But if you are interested and you want to commit to it, I will make sure you have a copy here. You gotta commit to stuff, people. Here is the cosplay E cover for Vampirilla. How'd you like to find that in your coffin? I bet you would give blood then gladly. Yes, take my blood. I won't complain. There's more of these Black Knight Curse of the Ebony Blade number fours. Here is Shang Chai, Master of Kung Fu, the Master of Kung Fu, Shang Chai. Sinister villains of Spider-Man fighting the King Cobra. Actually, he started off, Cobra started off as a Thor villain, and then was a Captain America villain, part of the Serpent Society. But he and uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Hyde did fight the Amazing Spider-Man briefly. This is cover B on The Witcher, Witch's Lament, number two from Dark Horse. This is the A cover on Giant Size Amazing Spider-Man, The Chameleon Conspiracy. This is where the storyline ends, and it's gonna leave you with even more questions, I'm sure. Uh, in the storyline, they talk about uh, Peter Parker's sister. Do any of you out there, and in the comments, you can leave, the, leave this, do you buy for a second that he has a sister? No, no, he was an orphan. He was only one. There's no sister. Come on, Marvel, you guys are lazy, lazy writers. But I'm going to swap out this box. You know, just like years ago that they say, uh, you know, Tony Stark was adopted. Really? He looks a hell of a lot like Howard Stark. Uh, who thinks that's a complete bull crap, too? 100% uh, was not adopted. You can get some... Uh, some lazy crap writer to say that. Hack writer. Shouldn't say lazy. No, they're a hack writer. Here's the 50th anniversary cover uh, for Dr. Afro number 11 with, with Lando on it. It's part of the Empire Strikes Back. Here we have another, another barbaric cover. This is uh, cover B. This, I believe, would be a homage to Frank Miller's 300. Star Trek. Star Trek, year five, issue 21, cover A. Got a big stack of uh, pull and hold books. Here is the connecting cover to X Factor number number 10 and this here is something I don't know why they did this you can see Rachel look she's got pointies she's pointing it must be very very cold on that island and they're they're pointing north they're like a uh, like a what they call those uh, those sticks that dividing rods she's got a dividing rod there Here's Master of Kung Fu, Shang Chai, number two, versus Captain America as he waves his mighty shield. Foil covers on Buffy the Vampire, Tea Time, number one. One of these will be going out. I ordered an extra one of those. I believe this is the 1 in 10 variant on Star Wars The High Republic, or no, the 1 in 25 on Star Wars The High Republic, number six. 
And speaking of High Republic number six, there it is. There is the A cover. I've got one customer who does not buy the High Republic. He's a huge Star Wars fan. For him to draw his line, a line in the sand, speaks volumes. And here's yet another issue number nine of The Walking Dead Deluxe. A second printing by David Finch. The Eternals. This is the design cover, Gilgamesh. That's a 1 in 10. There's the 1 in 10 variant on Tarot, Witch of the Black Rose. A Delos will get it. Not a, not a uh, Dale. Dale, this is not for you, Dale. Not for your, your, your innocent eyes. Here's a cover B of We Only Find Them When They're Dead, number 7. These probably are C covers. These are the C covers to Spawn 319. And this is supposed to tie in with the Spawn universe that came out next week in the whole King Spawn storyline. And I see they're doing a second printing on that uh, Spawn universe that came out. And looky here. We've got a couple copies of the Marvel previews. Inferno. Inferno is going to be back. And there you go. Spider-Man. The Amazing Spider-Man. So issue 74, they bring it to an end. We're going to pause this quickly. Okay, I'm back. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, these are all more copies of the Inferno. At least these are on the bottom. Again, they don't do it every time, but they should be smart and put these on the on the bottom. Cover the bottom. Cover the bottom and cover the top. If if corners get banged up, then the only thing that got banged up was was just the Marvel previews books, which have no value, right? There's no value to these things. And speaking of top. There you go. There's some on the top there. And notice that uh, Amazing Spider-Man 74 is also considered issue 875. So, of course, there's 47 covers to the book. So, just wait till that book comes out and you have to do shots. Man, you're going to be in the hospital for alcohol poisoning. And there's more of those. I'm going to pause quickly. Here's the A cover to the Black Cat Annual Infinite Destinies. Here is Redemption Issue 5 of 5 from Upshot. Here is the, I believe, the 1 in 10 variant on Godzilla Rivalries. Godzilla versus Hedoro, because this is Hedoro's 50th anniversary. 50 years, wow. This is the B cover to Star Wars Adventures number 5. Mech Strike. In the previous video, we saw Thanos with Mech Strike. Here you get to see more Thanos with his Infinity Gems. Infinity Gauntlet there. Here's issue 8. The second printing of The Walking Dead Deluxe. So I think that's what they're going to continue doing. So next time they'll do uh, 13, or, or yeah, do 13 to 18. Do them in six issue runs. These must be maybe 1 in 10 variants. So the other one was probably a 1 in 25 or 1 in 20. But these are 1 in 10 variants on Red Room number 2. Black Widow. Uh, there's a really, really sexy Black Widow cover coming up here in a couple of months i think issue 11 this is not it but this is an adam hughes black widow cover so you know i guess that's you know semi good enough there ah this uh the shop steward is getting his uh customer order form this week he's probably happy i've not mentioned the shop steward in a few weeks uh it probably feels he probably feels left out feel he's not loved but you are loved uh, he's, he's been on vacation. He's been on vacation since, uh, February 23rd. So, um, well, he, I think he has to go back to work this week. Power Rangers Unlimited number one. This is the B cover on that. And then finally, the King in Black trade. 
is out this week. So if you do like these videos, as always, please be sure to, please, uh, if you've not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel and see if we can get up to 1,600 uh, subscribers by the end of this week uh, before July 1st. Uh, don't have fun. Don't have long to go. Uh, be sure to like. Be sure to smash the bell for notifications because I think there was five videos I did today. Uh, I hope everybody has a great 4th of July. And don't forget to thank your comics retailer for everything he does to get you your funny book fix every week. Other than that, enjoy. Thanks for watching.